Protein kinase B, also known as AKT, modifies over 100 proteins in the cell by phosphorylation and thereby controls important cellular processes such as growth, proliferation, and metabolism. AKT is hyperactivated in over 50% of human cancers. In the cell, AKT is activated in response to growth factors and hormones which drive the production of a lipid second messenger, phosphatidyl inositol 345 phosphate or in short, PIP3. When AKT binds to membrane-embedded PIP3, it becomes phosphorylated by its upstream kinases and is now activated. A long-standing model of AKT activity argued that once activated by phosphorylation, AKT disengages from PIP3 and diffuses freely throughout the cell to phosphorylate its many substrates localized at different cellular compartments. Two main questions arose from this model. First, how is the spatial control of AKT signaling maintained if AKT just randomly diffuses inside the cell? And second, how is the timing of the AKT signaling coupled to the activating stimulus? We have demonstrated for the first time that AKT is allosterically activated by PIP3 engagement. Activation of AKT by PIP3 promotes substrate binding and ensures that AKT substrate complex formation is localized at PIP3 rich membranes. As soon as the PIP3 signal is gone, AKT is rapidly inactivated. This mechanism provides both spatial and temporal control over AKT signaling. Finally, Mutations which disrupt the auto-inhibited conformation of AKT drive hyperactivation of AKT in the cytosol. AKT is now capable of substrate engagement and PIP3 independent signaling. Such mutations transform AKT into a constitutively active kinase which presumably then drives cell proliferation and survival and maybe play an important role in the development of cancer. If you would like to learn more about AKT regulation, please read our paper.